God, it's proper chilly today and the jets are buzzing us again but no matter, I'm just going to try and carry on. If it gets too loud, I'll just have to stop filming. But boy, have I got a treat for you. Now, my last video was um, about revealing what was in my compost bin. There was more in it than I realised. I had a message from friends last night, Paige and Tom. Oh, it made me laugh so much. They mentioned um, a certain point <laughs> in my last video that they'd been watching over and over and over again and even on slow-mo and they sent me a still and I thought they were mucking about. I thought they had edited the shot. Anyway, um, I'm being quite cryptic but I want to show you what they spotted that I didn't and I don't think anybody else has because no one else has mentioned it. Have a look at this. We'll need sieving, there's no doubt because there's... How cool is that? I had no idea and I can't stop watching it now. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I don't really know how to follow it up. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to have a break, I have a coffee and think about what on earth am I going to film. It's brilliant. It's just brilliant. Okay, so the task I've set myself today is to earth up my potatoes. Now you may have heard of that term before, um, but may not know what it means. Um, generally, if you sow your potatoes in the ground, you will often see that people grow them in rows and then they have mounds of soil over the top. And that's what I'm going to be doing to my tubs because I grow all my potatoes in containers. Now the idea of um, mounding up the soil allows the stalks to produce more potatoes as they continue to grow higher and higher. Um, but there are two other main reasons why you earth them up. Firstly, to protect the emerging shoots from any frost which will kill them off. And secondly, as the potatoes grow, you don't want any of the potatoes on the surface because they will turn green and once they're green, they become very poisonous. So by keeping them covered up, you protect your um, crop from that happening. So I've got a mix of half compost, multi-purpose compost and well-rotted manure. It has been... Um, finely broken down and I'm going to top each um, tub up probably another three or four inches to cover the um, shoots that are appearing okay so this is the first one so I'm going to be very careful how I lay the soil so as not to break these shoots I'm going to start by just filling all around them and in between and then gently covering them and that is literally all you do So these three buckets have got the first earlies, which are my Penton Javelin, and 
the three at that end of the Charlotte, which is second early, they were sewn um, on the 20th of March. So they've done quite a bit of growing in that time. These are the main crop potatoes, which are at the bottom end of the garden. They were sown on the 17th of April, I think. They're just got a little bit of growth coming through. And this has got a little bit of growth as well. Thought I'd show you the progress on the carrots. It's, they're coming up nicely. Uh, you can definitely see the rows now. There are a few little gaps, but that's, I'm not too bothered about that. I think that's about two or three weeks worth of growth. I'll have to check. Yeah, from germination to putting out the first leaves. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I am going to take you into the greenhouse because um, there is clearly an issue with the seeds this year. Um, really, really poor germination, but some of the results really have been quite disappointing. So, and it's nice and warm in here, so let's just come back inside. Now, there had been other um, seeds that had poorly germinated, and I re sowed, I think it was six, eight more of these. That one's come up in the last couple of days, and I noted this, noticed this one yesterday but still nothing in these pots. This is the second lot of dwarf beans. Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Although it probably needs another watering. Oh, there's a bean, but it doesn't seem to be dead. I think they're dead. I think I need to get a new packet of seeds. There's just nothing happening there. Calendula are doing okay. Cosmos, mm, not so. I've got two there and one there and that's it. Peas are so disappointing. Now, the larger plants that you can see were sown weeks and weeks ago. They're just such slow progress. And then all the other cells I re-sowed and I'm only just getting a few come up. But again, very very disappointing sweet peppers nothing at all my rocket and lola rosso i really need to prick these out now and plant them on um and start hardening them off because i've got some containers just outside the greenhouse door where they're going to go so they're always going to be by the kitchen door these seedlings definitely need Pick, pricking out and potting on. I've got kohlrabi, um, purple and green, the chard, rhubarb chard, and then some more salad leaves. Broad beans, nothing yet, but just have to keep an eye on them. I've got my chilies here, which is the Apache and the Scotch bonnet. My lemon is producing loads of new shoots. Look at that lot. So that's doing okay. And more excitingly, look at that. I've actually got some tomatoes coming. Little flowers there. So this is the, uh, which one is this? Alicante. That's a Shirley that's got a sucker I need to pull out. And this is the Roma. And that's got little flowers coming. So it's very exciting. Yeah, and finally, this is the Golden Gate. That's the yellow flat pod. Climbing French bean. This is the Cobra. They're the thin green beans. Climbing beans. And then I've got my runner beans, which is Scarlet Emperor. My courgette, Zucchini. Anastasians, these are out 
It's been out for about a fortnight now. They come out early in the morning, go back in at dusk, and they've been subjected to the fluctuating temperatures to try and toughen them up a bit before I finally plant them out.